What's going on guys? My name is Briley Taylor and this is another episode of the Off-Road Obit. So tonight we have a very special guest. It is actually my son, Easton Taylor. Welcome to the show. How are you doing tonight, son? Good. Good. This is my eight-year-old little boy. Uh, he likes to go on adventures and stuff, uh, off-roading, likes to come to the Jeep events that we put on at the fairgrounds. Easton, what, uh, what do you like doing the best? Going to the mountains. You like going to the mountains? Yeah. <laughs> okay, what do you like about the mountains? Uh, when we camp. You like to camp? Easton, what's your first memory of off-roading? Well, like, think back when you were, like, a little kid. Because I know you've gone on a lot of off-road stuff, but what's the first memory that you have? I remember one time when I was little, I got my first Jeep, and it broke. Well, how, well, how did it break? Well, it gotten too old. Oh, you're talking about the power wheels? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I think there was a clip that went, like, viral on TikTok of you going through a mud hole. Do you remember that? Uh-huh. And um, I think it was, like, one of my first viral videos was you driving that little power wheels into a muddy ditch and getting stuck. And you were like, uh-oh. And, uh, and then I think you pulled it out with another power wheels. Do you remember that, or were you too little? I remember. You remember that? Out of all my Jeeps, which one is your favorite? Probably the poisonous spider. The poison, the LJ? Yeah. You like the LJ? I like the LJ too. What do you like about the LJ? It's fast. It's fast. It's got a supercharger. Yeah, I like the LJ too. Are you going to have a Jeep when you turn 16? Mm-hmm. Are you going to get the LJ when you turn 16? Yeah. Is that the one that you want? So you don't want the Gladiator? You want the LJ? Okay. Are you going to drive it to high school? <laughs> All right. You said, so you said you like to go camping. What's your favorite camping story? The time when we... The last time we went to the mountains near, like, right beside the riv river, mm -hmm. the last time we went there, it was really fun. What did we do? I don't remember. You catch the catfish. I did catch a catfish, didn't I? Me and Stephen went fishing, and I caught four fish. Yeah, you caught more fish than he did, didn't you? Yeah, but Stephen's were... a loser. <laughs> we We camped right there on the river, didn't we? And um, we went fishing, and I think Stephen brought his little boat, and you and him rode the boat. Mm -hmm. And um, that was a cool trip. Do you remember that big snapping turtle we saw? That joker was, like, that big, like, up underwater. Mm -hmm. And we saw that waterfall. Yeah, that was really cool. That was at Uari. Do you remember that time we took the Comanche for the first trip out, me and you? We went to uh, the mountains, and my boot fell off in the creek, and I got mad. So, other than Jeeps and off-roading and camping, what do you like to do, Easton? Camping. I said other than camping. Off-roading. Other than off-roading. What do you like to do other than off-roading <laughs> and camping? <laughs> the Jeep affair. And watch the Jeeps. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Tell me what you like to do. All right. So, tell me what you like to do that is not Jeep related. You like playing what games? You like video games, right? Mm -hmm. What video games do you like? Fortnite. You like Fortnite? I like Fortnite too. I get my I always get my butt kicked, don't I? You can get a couple of wins, can't you? Uh, what other stuff do you like to do? You like to run, don't you? I play on my trampoline. Oh yeah, you were trying to learn. What were you trying to learn yesterday? A backflip. You're trying to learn backflips. Did you ever land one? I did, but I learned it on my. Well, I kept landing on my stomach. But I like to play football. You like to play football? Who do you like to play football with? Steven and you. 
Do we like do we play rough, don't we? Yeah. Who can throw a football better, me or Steven? He, he, uh, Steven, I think. Uh, oh, whatever. So what other stuff do you like to do besides playing football? Play on the playground. You like playing on the playground? And going to the trampoline park. Trampoline park. Oh, yeah. You're an animal at trampoline park. Uh-huh. But, um... And and I like going to get ice cream. Ice cream, yeah. I like going to get ice cream too. Oh, uh, my toothfish died. God. Yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. I w oh, my sister Autumn won the first one, and he lived for a year. And then the second one came, and I named him Jimmy, and he like. Like three days later, he died. Yep, and then the, and then, fishy pishy died. After that, do we have any other pets? I can't remember. Stretch. Stretch. I'll tell them about Stretch. Oh, uh, we have a dog named Stretch, and one, and sometimes he sleeps in my bed. Mhm. Mm you like when he sleeps in your bed? Yeah. <laughs> One time I woke up and I saw him under my legs. Mm hmm. He likes soft blankets, don't he? You like soft blankets too. I'm pretty sure you're some kind of dog species. I was talking to your teacher the other day and he was telling me that you like to tell all the kids at school that your dad is on YouTube. Is that true? Uh huh. So, I mean, what do you think about. How how does it feel being a child of someone on YouTube? Pretty good because you can actually get rich on YouTube. Yeah, I'm I'm not there yet, but um, yeah, there are a lot of people that get rich off of YouTube. So you've been in a couple of my YouTube videos. Do you like being in my YouTube videos? They're pretty fun. My favorite was when we went to that Lego Land. That was in Raleigh. We went to the Lego Convention. Is that in another uh, state? No, it was like an hour and a half away. It was in Raleigh, North Carolina. But that was pretty cool. We need to go back. That was one of my first YouTube videos was us going to Legoland. Or the Lego Builders Convention. And I remember my first YouTube video. Oh, yeah. You were you were the star of my very first YouTube video. Uh -huh. You were like my guinea pig. What happened? What would you do in that video? We put smoke bombs in an Easter egg and blowed it up. <laughs> yeah, it probably wasn't smart for like the first uh, YouTube video was like to blow up Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and how much did we put in? We put like six smoke bombs in one Easter egg. And then you it like, was on fire. Yeah, it, it immediately caught fire. And Autumn was like freaking out. You remember that? I remember at the end she touched it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get immediately banned on YouTube after my first video. Because I'm pretty sure like now my videos ask like, are kids in this video, is there fire? Or like kids getting harmed or is it dangerous? And like pretty sure that one checked all the boxes there. So we're in the shop right now. What do you think of the shop, Easton? You like it? Mm-hmm. I learned how to unscrew tires. Unscrew tires. And I learned how to change oil on a tractor. Oh yeah, we did change the oil on the tractor. I watched you. Yeah. You like watching me? Do I get mad a lot? <laughs> I remember that time when you were welding and, wait, I remember that time when you were doing, like, fixing up a Jeep and then you dropped your wrench and it hit your finger. Yeah, that happens a lot. So not only do you get to visually learn, but you get to verbally learn also, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but you better not say those words at school, right? That's right. Are you going to have your own shop one day and do stuff like this? Probably. Or are you just going to hang out with me as I'm like an old man? 
proudly hang out with you as you're an old man. That's right. Because soon I'm going to be getting old and you're going to have to start doing all the lifting. Like, I can't keep picking up these heavy axles and Jeep parts. You're going to have to start doing it. Because I'm getting old. I'm 34 now. In 10 years, I'll be 44. In 10 years, you'll be 18. So you've recently started driving, like, the golf cart. Uh, well, you've been driving the golf cart a little while, but you, you started driving that mule that was around here. You kind of got... Um, You've been riding a dirt bike. You can ride the four wheeler. What's your favorite thing to drive that you have? Probably my dirt bike. You like the dirt bike? The Honda? And all my stickers. I just got a new one on my back. Oh, uh, one like yesterday, no, like four days ago, we went to the skate park and we saw this little, we saw this like gigantic thing and then when you go down there's like this little ramp so I wanted to jump it. So I went up the big thing and, and, it, and it was like a steep when you go down. So then like there's this little ramp then I jumped it, tried to do a 360 and slip. I didn't land it but I slipped on my bike. Mm -hmm. and fell because my back tire was my back tire was a little inflated it was a little deflated so that and he, skinned my leg you talking about when we went to the pump track in Greenville the the, the ramps and stuff in Greenville uh-huh that's what I've been talking about oh yeah yeah that was fun that was uh you like riding BMX with your old man that's pretty fun too. That's one of my favorite hobbies is riding bikes. So we went to, wait, what's that city called again? It's uh, Atlantic Beach. We went to Atlantic Beach and we went and we saw a aquarium and we wanted to go to the aquarium. So we went all the way to, to Atlantic Beach and went to the aquarium and then we saw a lot of fish, and I saw this waterfall, and I saw this waterfall. Was that pretty fun? Mm-hmm. That was pretty cool. They had the whole aquarium decorated for Halloween. That was pretty sick. Mm-hmm. You remember, like, the, there was, like, a cemetery inside the aquarium? Uh-huh. And there was, like, pirates, like, skeleton pirates everywhere. Yeah, and we went on the trail. Mm-hmm. We went on an adventure. And you remember what you were, you had pine cones in your hands in case we saw what? A bear. That's right. So you were going to protect us with the pine cone. You're so brave. But uh, what, do you, what about the otters? They were pretty cool, weren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was think I was thinking about those, but I forgot what they were called. The otters, they look like our dog. But I I thought they were, I thought they were. Well, they are a mammal. Mm -hmm. Because, and did y'all know that a whale is a whale is a mammal? Because how it's a mammal because. You know, like, the whale is the biggest thing in the world and heaviest. So, hmm. the, the giant whale, it has, massive, it has massive lungs, so it holds its breath for, like, two weeks. Then when it needs to come up, he comes up all the way, takes a breathe in in the air and then come back in and hold his breath dang can you hold your breath that long no oh, I can't either I'll pass out <laughs> that's awesome what about um if I was a whale yeah my favorite animal is probably a cat and a duck a cat and a duck why a cat and a duck because I I like ducks since I was little Yep, you did. Your first little little kid video was the five little ducks. 
And what about cats? Why do you like cats? Because they're just so cute. <laughs> cats are not cute. They can scratch your walls up. Yeah, they destroy everything. <laughs> They can knock all your plates over. You'll have a gigantic mess to clean up. You just like cats because they're so destructive. I think you're part cat. And they can rip all your, like, things that are puffy. <laughs> like your stuffed animals? Mm-hmm. Which has that stuff inside like this. Oh, yeah. Where did that come from? I don't know. How's it? I uh, and our teachers came to our house. Oh, yeah. The teachers came and did a home visit. That's right. Tell us about that. I remember when I showed my teacher, and my teacher is named Mr. Stainback. Oh, yeah. We showed him the shop, too, didn't we? Uh-huh. Do you like Mr. Stainback? Uh-huh. He's pretty cool, ain't he? My sister... We go to the same school, and she's in kindergarten, and I'm in third grade, and her teacher came, too. That's right. That was pretty cool to have the teachers in our house, weren't it? And before that, I was playing ranked, reload, squad, no feel. On Fortnite? Yeah. Are you good at Fortnite? And I got, like... And I got 19 eliminations. Those were bots. If you had an infinite amount of money, what kind of vehicle would you buy? Probably a Lamborghini. What color and would it, it be? Uh, it'll be, it'll be darkish red. Darkish red, like a burgundy. Mhm. Mm Okay. So you wouldn't get like a like a brand new Jeep or a brand new Bronco or anything? Or probably a Tesla Cybertruck. A Cybertruck? But they're really fast. It's your, it's your infinite amount of money. So you can spend it how you want to. Yay. I can buy the iPhone 16 Pro Max just released. <laughs> You're not getting the cell phone. All right, guys. Well, I just want to thank Easton for taking time away from Fortnite to come hang out with me in the shop and do a off-road obits podcast. Easton has been off-roading probably since before he could walk. He just probably don't even remember it. I've kind of took him everywhere in Jeeps pretty much since day one. Is there anything that you want to say before we call it a night Easton and go inside mm -hmm. and one of my two of my friends subscribed to me so, so shout out to Bennett and Scarlett all right shout out to Bennett and Scarlett thank y'all for subscribing all right well we are about to go inside and get ready for bed and get ready for school tomorrow ain't we all right well what do you say Easton bye bye thank y'all for watching Good job, dude. Woo. You did good. My ears hurt. Your ears hurt? Yeah.